Hello, in this recording I'm going to show you how to make a heart like this, uh, but I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm going to show you first by making, by using like three different shapes and putting them together and then using some of the tools to clean it up. And then I'm going to show you, the other way I'm going to show you is by using the pen tool. Now I'm going to move fast, so if you're trying to copy what I'm doing, just pause it and then do it, you know, pause and then move to the other to Illustrator and do it. Of course I'm using Illustrator um, CC, Creative Cloud, and here we go. I'm going to start out by thinking about the shapes that are in a heart, and I can think of three shapes. There's two circles right here, and then a triangle that kind of hangs off down it, and you notice it's also rounded. We'll work on some stuff with that. First of all, I'm going to start with this uh, rounded rectangle tool. I'm sorry, the, the ellipse tool. Excuse me. And I'm going to create a circle. And then I want to copy this circle. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key. And oops, I'm, I'm going to use the, the Move tool. And then hold down the Alt key, and I'm just going to move it over here. So we have, you know, we can see that heart taking shape right here. Now I'm going to use the triangle tool, well, the polygon tool. And I'm going to draw a polygon, draw a triangle right here. And notice it draws it from that where I started is the center. I'm going to make this uh, triangle exactly um, so it's so it's flat. I'm holding down the shift key. You know when I notice when I hold down the shift key, it puts it in place. Now the reason why I'm doing it so that the um, pointy side is up is because for some reason the triangle tool doesn't let you do it upside down. But now I'm going to use this reflect tool and I'm going to hold down the shift key. And I'm going to rotate this fella just uh, twice, and it, it locks into place at 180 degrees from where it was. And now I have this uh, triangle, which is on my heart. I mean, on, on the two things. It looks like a triangle with a butt above it, I think. Um, I'm going to move that over a little bit so it's even on both sides. Uh, it's as centered as I can get it between those two. And now I'm just going to um, use this tool right here. I'm sorry, the Shape Builder tool. Shift, Shift M is the shortcut. And I'm going to, oh, forgot to do something first. I need to select these three objects so that I can tie them together with the Shape Builder tool. And I don't want this part right here and this part right here to be, and this little part right here, we'll zoom in and take care of that. I don't want that those to be part of it. I want those to disappear. So I'm now going to go through this and right there. And that just connects all those things. And notice I didn't connect that. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and click on that. And notice it erases that part. And I've got a pretty good heart. Uh, I'm just going to do one other thing. I'm going to grab that piece right here with the um, Subselect tool or the Direct Select tool. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to um, wait. I just want to take that point. I don't want any of the other points to be selected. So let me do that again. So now all the points are selected. If I click on that once, notice how these are all empty little uh, handles, but this one is full. I'm just going to drag that one up. And I have a pretty decent heart right there. There is one thing right here that uh, we just left behind. And I'm going to delete that. And that's that's a pretty good heart. Now, just for fun, I'm going to show you how to make a heart with a pen tool. And I'm going to go super fast on this. You're not required to do this, but I'm just going to show you how you can do it. So I'm going to just go like this and, and start by making a, an anchor with the pen tool. And this anchor, this is not actually the line right here. This is just a point that I created. And then I'm going to come directly underneath it. That green line says that I'm directly underneath. And I am going to make, I'm going to complete my half of a heart right there. Now I'm going to click on this black arrow tool. Actually, I'm going to click on the reflect tool. Oh, wait, black arrow tool. And I'm going to hold down the alt key and I'm just going to drag this over till and I want to get it, drag it straight over. So I'm going to hold the shift key while it drags over and I'm going to lock it in place there. I'm going to use the reflect tool. And I'm going to hold down the shift key while I use the reflect tool and rotate 180 degrees. And then I'm going to select both sides of the heart like that. Use the shape builder tool, just drag across. And there I have my other heart. Well, which heart's better? I don't know. Uh, I am going to do one other thing on this. I, I like, I'm going to make that part of it right there a little deeper. Grab both these handles right here. Oh, 
that one. Let me grab the handles individually. There, that does a little bit more to it. Anyway, that's how you do heart. One last thing. I'm going to show you how to make the fill of these all a gradient. So I'm just going to select all three of them so we can have a gradient for all of them. I'm going to use a gradient tool. And right here, notice how I have a gradient that goes from the subtle orange to this deeper red. I'm going to click on that so we can it, it, notice it applies it. And it applied a radial gradient. Notice it's darker in the middle, lighter on the edges for each one of these. I can switch that so it's lighter in the middle and darker on the edges. And you, you can apply it to each one of them individually. Uh, just so you can see it better, I'm going to change this orange to a, um, to a yellow. And that way you can see that gradient a little better. There's a, this, this gradient slider right here has the midpoint. Now on each of these, I c with the um, gradient tool selected, I can grab this and move where the center of the of the um, gradient is. I can also kind of go out to the edge and rotate that. The, the rotate on the um, ellipse tool doesn't do much, but I can grab this and make it wider and then move the whole thing over so that we have this kind of gradient look to it. Sometimes that gives a little bit. I'm going to click on this one right here. And instead of it being radial, I'm going to make it a linear gradient. Oh, it selected all of them. I don't want to do that. I just want to select this one. So I'm going to make it a linear gradient. And notice if I click on the, the gradient tool, I can now uh, work with that a little bit more. It's good to know what you can do with a gradient. Uh, that's all for this lesson. Uh, have fun with it.